Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Global Cooling Rundown for the first week of November 2017. Damp conditions delay grain harvest, Finland, poor crop yield, seed supply in jeopardy for next year. It's actually so wet that the heads are sprouting and the seeds are moldy. Lowest production of wine out of the EU since World War II. Again, a trend, decline in 2015, decline in 2016, and this year, all-time record low since World War II. That is a trend. And looking over at Michigan earlier in the year, the farmers there are talking about more frost-tolerant types of tart cherries. Unprecedented drought in South Africa, not enough drinking water coming forward. The Black Death returns to our planet in Madagascar. Massive hail coming down in Argentina. Incredible wind speeds seen again, this time Czech Republic, Germany. Arctic vortex going to rip down over Europe this week. Butter shortages, the worst since World War II. Arctic cold through the United States. And witch killings due to crop damage and low yield in India. Arctic vortex blast ripping over Europe. Cold air, warm air mix, stunning cloud formations, literally mind bending. Lenticular clouds over to the U.S., another polar vortex as well. Down under Australia, electrical ferocity. Images coming out. Record rains, so intense, breaking old records by three times. And with this much water, giant earthworms emerging from the ground. Can we really dim the sun to stop global warming? Well, temperatures on the multi-millennial cycle downtrend. Enough volcanoes during this grand solar minimum to do the cooling for us. Case in point, one of the earliest season Arctic blasts, minus 30 degrees Celsius, western Canada, anywhere that's gray, new snowfall records. Not limited to the west. Buffalo, New York, hailstorms with thunderstorms in Ontario, and they want to dim our planet. I think we're doing pretty okay without them on the grand solar minimum, natural cooling. Antarctica has actually grown since 2008. Go wrong, Arctic ice grows by 40%. Oh wait, so does Western Greenland, the last bastion of excuse that the IPCC can use, fallen. Upcoming change in our weather, new records shattered literally. Average first date of measurable snow, usually a tenth of an inch or so. Let's look at these totals. That red, 21 inches. The aqua, three feet. And since when did we have tornado risk in November? 100-year cold records return. And last week, blasting cold through the southeast U.S. We're talking about 32 degrees down in Tennessee and Mississippi.